I'm not, I don't think so. Yes. Yes, I did. Uh, have you ever been declared mentally incompetent? No, sir. You, you understand that the court does not have to follow the recommendation after you give your plea? Yes, sir. And what is your plea, sir? Guilty or not guilty? Guilty. And are you pleading guilty freely and voluntarily for both cases? Yes, sir. Uh, state's evidence? He offers plea documents and offense reports, State Exhibit 1, notification, certification, defendant's right of appeal is State Exhibit 2, waiver of Article 39.14, disclosure is State Exhibit 3, waiver of risk and needs assessment is State Exhibit 4, State also requests defense counsel stipulate to the venue and jurisdiction of this honorable court, as well as that all evidence and documents have been e-filed are sufficient to support a plea of guilty. Judge, we have no objection to the exhibit, Your Honor. We so agree to stipulate. Without objection, so admitted. It will be the judgment of the court. The defendant is guilty as charged on both cost numbers. Recommendations, uh, Mr. Uh, Delgado? Yes, Judge. And CR 1802081D, $250 fine, court costs, one year Hidalgo County Jail probated for two years, interlock ignition device, SATF. And that's the same recommendation, Your Honor, in CR 19. 01980D. Also the 250 fine? Yes, Judge. Well, on the second case, court will weigh the fine and court costs. Thank you, Your Honor. And uh, if there's any community hours, they'll be waived as well. Uh, now there's two other cases, right, sir? Yes, Your Honor. And the, the state moves to dismiss CR 18131990D as well as CR 1915087D. Let me see here. Uh, no, this is the first. Okay, the first case I have is CR 1901980D. Is that one of them? Yes, Your Honor. That'll be dismissed. And no, the no, next no. one? Uh, oh. Your Honor, that one was actually the a plea. No, you read the first one. The 02081. Uh, okay, wait a minute. The 81D was the plea. And that was the DWA case. Yes, and sir. then he also pled to the 199, the, the POM. The, the, the pleas are to the DWI charges, Your Honor. All right, let me see here. Number one and number five on the docket, Your Honor. Okay, I got you now. I got you now. So let me see here. The one we need to plea him on now, well, the POM is dismissed. Let me put a big deal on that one. That's dismissed. But now we need to plea him on the uh, other one. You said number five, right? Yes, Judge. Yeah, that's going to be CR 19-01980D, driving while intoxicated, class B misdemeanor. Also carries a potential penalty of up to 180 days in jail and not more than a $2,000 fine upon conviction. Do you understand that, sir? <laughs> Mr. Castillo, you understand that? Yes, sir. You understand that you're entitled to a jury trial. You're entitled to an appeal. Did you waive those two rights? Yes. Have you ever been declared mentally incompetent? I think you already said no. Uh, you understand that the court does not have to follow the recommendation? Yes, sir. And your pleas are guilty or not guilty? Guilty. And are you pleading guilty freely and voluntarily? Yes. All right, state's evidence. State offers plea documents, offense reports, state exhibit one, notification, certification, defendant's right of appeal, state exhibit two, waiver of article 39.14, disclosure, state exhibit three, waiver of risk and needs assessment, state exhibit four, State also requests defense counsel stipulate to venue and jurisdiction as honorable court and that all documents and evidence have been e-filed are sufficient to support a plea of guilty. Okay. Judges, there's no objection to the exhibits. We so agree and stipulate. And without objection, so admitted. It will be the judgment of the court. The defendant is guilty as charged in CR 19-01-980-D. And that recommendation, I think you say it was the same as the other one, right, sir? Yes, Your Honor. $250 fine, court costs, one year, Hidalgo County Jail, probated for two years, interlock ignition device, SATF. All right, I have a question. Uh, how long has he been in jail? Uh, uh, from what I can tell, Your Honor, I believe on the DWIs, approximately two days, two, I believe. Two, two, two days, okay. Oh, no, Your Honor, I, uh, Judge, he's been in jail since, uh, I believe, March. Okay. He was put into custody by the 206. So he's been in jail for quite some time, Judge. All right. Then we'll, wait, we'll go ahead and weigh the fine and court costs on both cases. Thank you, Judge. All right, and they're going to run concurrent, and only one one uh, uh, supervision fee is going to be charged. And there, and then the court will dismiss, uh, for the record, uh, CR eighteen one thirty one ninety nine D, 
and CR 1915 is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right, that'll do it. Thank you very much. Maybe excuse Thank her. You. Thank you, Your Honor. Yes, Thank, sir. You. Thank you. Do we, and then Ms. Monsi Vice, you have, um, yes, you have Joaquin Zavala, right, ma'am? Yes, Your Honor. And he's got two cases. Yes. All right, Joaquin Zavala. Uh, please raise your right hand. You swear the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, Your Honor. All right, put your hand down here. You got two cases, CR 18134, I'm sorry, 136-43D. Uh, Joaquin Zavala, that'll be a charge of a class A misdemeanor. And then you have uh, CR 19-151-23D, also Joaquin Zavala, class A misdemeanor. Each case carries a potential penalty of up to a year in jail and not more than a $4,000 fine upon conviction. You understand that? Yes, sir. No. You understand that you're entitled to a jury trial. You're entitled to an appeal. Did you waive those two rights? Yes, sir. No. Have you ever been declared mentally incompetent? No, sir. No. You understand that the court does not have to follow the recommendations after you give your plea? Yes, sir. No. And what is your plea, sir? Guilty or not guilty? Guilty. And are you pleading guilty freely and voluntarily on both cases? Yes, sir. No. All right. State's evidence. It offers plea documents, offense reports, state exhibit one, notification, certification, defendant's right to appeal is state exhibit two. Waiver of Article 39.14 disclosure is state exhibit three. State would also request defense counsel stipulate to the venue and jurisdiction this honorable court and that all documents and evidence that have been e-filed are sufficient to corroborate a plea of guilty. Your Honor, no objection is being introduced into evidence at this time. We further stipulate us to jurisdiction and venue. We also stipulate that any and all documents that were e-filed are sufficient to support a plea of guilty. And without objections, uh, so admitted, it will be the judgment of the court that uh, Joaquin Tovar Zavala is guilty as charged on both cost numbers. Recommendations, are they identical by any chance, sir? Oh, they are, Your Honor. Uh, each recommendation is $100 fine, court cost, 219 days, Hidalgo County Jail, credit for 219 days. All right, the court will hereby waive the fine and court cost for each case. Therefore, it'll be a, it'll be a time served for both cases. That'll do it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Maybe excuse. All right, Mr. Julian Rodriguez, you have Ramiro Lara. Correct, Judge. Ramiro Lara. Uh, we have announcements, State? Uh, yes, Your Honor. We have one, uh, one MTR plea and two announcements. All right, let me see here. One is an MTR and Number then two four, announcements. Yeah. Yes. Don Ramiro Lara. Number 20. Number four would be the MTR uh, plea, Your Honor, on the docket. Number four is the MTR? Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, here we go. You got it. I got it now. MTR. Here you go. All right, we have uh, CR 18. Well, first of all, we have uh, State versus Ramiro Lara. You swear the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, Your Honor. You may put your hand down. And we have CR 18 14356 d Ramiro Lara. Uh, this, this is a revocation proceeding whereby the adult probation office and DA's office are both alleging that you violated your probation. You understand that, sir? Yes, sir. You understand that? that if the court finds that you did violate your probation, that the court may sentence you to the full amount of punishment that was probated back then when you pled guilty? Yes, Your Honor. Have you, have you ever been declared mentally incompetent? No. All right. Has your attorney, Mr. Rodriguez, explained to you all the conditions of probation that you allegedly violated? Yes, sir. And you understand them all pretty well? Yes. And what is your plea, sir? True or not true that you at least violated one of those conditions? True. And are you pleading true freely and voluntarily? Yes, Your Honor. All right, state. It offers waiver of rights, consent to stipulation of evidence, and plea true to state's motion to revoke post conviction community supervision in state exhibit one. State also requests defendants stipulate he is the same defendant who was previously placed on probation and that all documents and evidence that have been e filed are sufficient to support a plea of true. There's no objections, Your Honor. We agree and stipulate. And without objection, so admit it. It will be the finding of this court that Ramiro Lara did violate probation in CR 18-14356-D. Uh, state? Uh, 
The recommendation, Your Honor, is $100 fine, court costs, 35 days, Hidalgo County Jail credit for 35 days. All right, court will weigh the fine and court because it'll be a time serve. All right, and then we have some announcements, right, sir? Yes, yes. Your Honor, on uh, number seven, uh, CR1914918D. Uh, Your yes, Honor, we, we do have an AMP on file and testimony. We were, The state was previously requesting an anger management course, but in light that the defendant has spent over 30 days in jail, the state's uh, now moving to dismiss CR1914918D, as well as number 20 on the docket, CR2005607D. All right, court will hereby dismiss CR191918D. And CR 20-05-607-D, both of them, State of Texas versus Ramiro Lara. Both cases are hereby dismissed. That'll do it, Mr. Rodriguez. You may be excused, sir. Thank you, Judge. Yes, sir. Let's see, Mr. Flores, you're here for Vincent, Vincent Gutierrez? That's correct, Judge. Good afternoon. All right. Good afternoon, sir. We're looking at a plea. Yes, Your Honor, we're looking at a plea on both cases. He's got number six and number 19 on the court's criminal docket. All right, number six and number 19. Uh, yes, we got it. Class B here, hello. All right, good afternoon. Please raise your right hand, Mr. Gutierrez. You swear the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, sir. You may put your hand down. Uh, CR 1910-019-D, uh, CR 20-05-409-D, both cases, State of Texas versus Vincent Gutierrez, each case a Class B misdemeanor, each case carries a potential penalty of up to 180 days in jail and not more than a $2,000 fine upon conviction. You understand that? Yes, sir. You understand that you're entitled to a jury trial, you're entitled to an appeal, and that you waive those two rights? Uh, yes, sir. Have you ever been declared mentally incompetent? No, sir. You understand that the court does not have to follow the recommendations after you give your plea? Yes, sir. And what is your plea, sir? Guilty or not guilty? Guilty. And are you pleading guilty freely and voluntarily on both cases? Yes, sir. All right, state's evidence? It offers plea documents, offense reports, state exhibit one, notification, certification, defendant's right of appeal is state exhibit two, waiver of article 39.14, disclosure is state exhibit three. State also requests defense counsel stipulate to the venue and jurisdiction of this honorable court, as well as that all evidence and documents in the e file are sufficient to support a plea of guilty. Your Honor, we have no objection to state's evidence, and we so agree stipulate to venue and jurisdiction on both cases. And uh, without objection, so admit it, it'll be the judgment of the court. The defendant is guilty as charged from both cause numbers, CR 1910-019-D and CR 20-05-409-D. And recommendations state, uh, they're identical by any chance? Oh, they are, Your Honor. Each recommendation is $100 fine, court costs, 30 days, Hidalgo County Jail credit for 15 days. All right. Uh, yes, sir, Mr. Uh, Flores? Yes, Your Honor, that is correct. Uh, just run concurrently, Judge. Right, they're going to run concurrent. That's number one. First of all, court will weigh the fine and court costs for each case. So no fine, no court costs. And then uh, it'll be 30 days in jail, credit for 15, but it'll be a one-time deal because they're going to run concurrent. Yes, Your Honor. Anything else, sir? Not from the defense, Judge. All right, that'll do it. You may be excused. Thank you, sir. You all take care and be careful, please. Yes, sir. Sorry, who's going to be next right here? All right, Miss Ri Miss Richardson. I think you have uh, Eduardo Torres. Yes, Your Honor. Good afternoon. How are you? Uh, fine, thank you, ma'am. Good afternoon. Uh, it'll be Eduardo Torres. I think it's going to be like one plea and maybe two dismissals. One. Or I one think dismissal. it's one. I he should have two total, I believe, Judge. That's yes, correct. That's, That's correct. I already found out already. It's number 10 and number 11, I think. 10, 11. He'll, he'll plead to number 10, criminal mischief. Yes, Your and, Honor. That's correct. And I, I think we're going to dismiss the resistant arrest. Yes, Your Honor. All right. So we have here Eduardo Miguel Torres. Good afternoon, sir. You swear the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Sorry, sir. You may put your hand down. We have CR 20, 0105D. Uh, your charge here is a class B misdemeanor. 
it carries a potential penalty of up to 180 days in jail and not more than a $2,000 fine upon conviction. You understand that? Yes, sir. You understand that you're entitled to a jury trial. You're entitled to an appeal. Did you waive those two rights? Yes, sir. Have you ever been declared mentally incompetent? No, sir. You understand that the court does not have to follow the recommendations. Oh, I'm sorry, recommendation after you give your plea? Yes, sir. And what is your plea, sir? Guilty or not guilty? Guilty. And are you pleading guilty freely and voluntarily? Yes, sir. All right, state's evidence. State offers plea documents, offense reports, state exhibit one, notification, certification, defendant's right of appeal, state exhibit two, waiver of article 39.14 disclosure, state exhibit three. State also requests defense counsel stipulates the venue and jurisdiction of this honorable court, as well as that all documents and evidence that have been e-filed are sufficient to support a plea of guilty. Your Honor, we have no objection to the admission of the exhibits, and we do agree and stipulate to your venue and jurisdiction and uh, that the evidence submitted is sufficient to support uh, the plea. And without objection, so admitted, it will be the judgment of the court that defendant is guilty as charged in CR 2011-05. Recommendation state? $100 fine, court costs, 164 days, Hidalgo County Jail credit for, I'm sorry, 64 days, Hidalgo County Jail credit for 64 days, restitution in the amount of $475.47 to the city of Donna. That'll be, that'll be due and owing? Yes, Your Honor. Four seventy-five. Do you know it? Uh, court court will hereby waive the fine and court costs. Therefore, it'll be a time serve. And then we have a second case. Yes, sir. Yes, Judge. The state moves to dismiss CR two zero zero one one zero six D. All right. Court will dismiss CR twenty zero eleven zero six D. State versus Eduardo Torres. That case is hereby dismissed. That'll do it. You may be excused, Ms. Richardson. Thank you, Your Honor. Take care of yourself. You too, ma'am. Stay safe. Miss Jessica De Luna, uh, Alejandra, Alejandra Alvarado. Yes, Your Honor. Let me see if they can put it on right now. Alejandra Alvarado. That may be another. Let me advise uh, uh, female officers. Okay. Well, you know what? Let me just a minute. Maybe we could do. Let me do a, a, a pick up, pick up, pick a gentleman here. Uh, who's that? Uh, how about Jose Luis Reyes? Jose Luis Reyes. Yes. Uh -huh. so just could, yeah, we're gonna wait a little while, Miss Deluna. Jose Luis Reyes, please. A Spanish speaker. All right. Thank you, sir. We'll we'll go. With, we'll do some interpreting here. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Buenas tardes. Levanta tu mano derecha. You swear the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Juras que el testimonio que vas a dar es la verdad, solamente la verdad y nada más que la verdad? Sí, señor. Yes, sir. You, Puedes agarrar tu mano. You can put your hand down. Uh, Jose Luis Reyes, CR 20-023-73D. Your charge here is a Class B misdemeanor oh, fitter oh, to ID. It carries a potential penalty of up to 100. It's uh, CR oh, that's 20 right. That's right. Mr. Miss, it'll be the assault case, right? Yes, Your Honor. There we go. Okay, I'm sorry. It's a Class A, Mr. Uh, Class A, Mr. Reyes. It's a CR 20 023 72D. That carries a potential penalty up to a year in jail and not more than a $4,000 fine upon mm -hmm. conviction. Do you understand that? El Estado de Texas contra Jose Luis Reyes en CR 20 02372D. Es una clase A bajo la ley, es no más de una multa de cuatro mil dólares y no más de un año en la cárcel. La pregunta del juez es, ¿comprendes eso sí o no? ¿Comprendes eso? Sí, sí. Yes. You're entitled to a jury trial, you're entitled to an appeal. Did you waive those two rights? Tienes el derecho de un jurado y el derecho de apelar el caso. ¿Es correcto que tú rechazaste esos dos derechos? Sí, señor. Yes, sir. Have you ever been declared mentally incompetent? ¿Alguna vez te han declarado que estés mentalmente incompetente? No, señor. No. You understand that the court does not have to follow the recommendation after you give your plea? ¿Y comprendes tú que la corte no tiene que seguir la recomendación que tu abogado te explicó? ¿Comprendes eso, sí o no? Me repite, por favor. ¿Comprendes tú que la corte no tiene que seguir la recomendación que te explicó tu abogado? ¿Comprendes eso? 
Sí. Yes. And you understand that if you're not a U.S. citizen, that you plead guilty in your case may result in deportation, exclusion from admission to this country, or the denial of naturalization of federal law. Y comprendes que si te declaras culpable y no eres ciudadano de este país y te declaras culpable, eso puede resultar en deportación, exclusión o que te nieguen la entrada a este país bajo leyes federales. ¿Comprendes eso, sí o no? Claro, sí, sí. Yes. All right. And was that explained to you by your attorney? Y eso se te explicó a ti por el abogado que te explicó los documentos. Repítame, se quisiera decir el ruido aquí. Eso se te explicó a ti cuando firmaste los documentos. Sí, señora. Yes. Uh, okay. How do you plead, sir? Guilty or not guilty? ¿Y cómo te declaras? ¿Culpable o no culpable? No, no, no contest. No contest. Okay. No contest. And are you pleading no contest freely and voluntarily? ¿Y te estás declarando no contest libre y voluntariamente? Sí, señora. Yes. All right. Stay. It offers plea documents, offense reports, State Exhibit 1, notification, certification, defendant's right of appeal is State Exhibit 2, waiver of Article 39.14, disclosure is State Exhibit 3, waiver of risk and needs assessment is State Exhibit 4. State would also request defense counsel stipulate to the venue and jurisdiction of this honorable court, as well as that all documents and evidence have been e-filed are sufficient to cooperate to plead guilty. Without objections, Your Honor, so stipulated. And without objection, so admit it. It will be the judgment of the court that Jose Luis Reyes is guilty as charged in CR 2002-372D on a plea of no contest. Recommendation state? $300 fine, court costs, 11 months deferred adjudication, anger management course, no harmful contact with victim Miriam Gonzalez. And Your Honor, state's requesting that the defendant be, be screened and participate in the MI case load if he, if he qualifies. All right. And how long has he been? He's been in jail, what, 13 days? 18, yes, Your Honor. 18? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Court will hereby waive the fine and court costs, and it'll be the judgment of the court that the finding of guilty and all further proceedings are hereby deferred in CR 2002-372-D in the case of State versus Jose Luis Reyes. So it'll be deferred probation. Then we have a second case, uh, sir. State. Uh, yes, Judge. Uh, the state is moving to dismiss CR 2002373D, as well as numbers 21 and 22 on the docket, CR numbers 2005633D and CR 2005634D. There are a total of three cases? Yes, Your Honor. A All total, right. Total of four, three dismissals, Your Honor. The three dismissals, right, sir? Yes, Judge. Court will dismiss CR 2002373D. CR 2005-633-D and zero, CR 2005-634-D, all of them under the name of the state of Texas versus Jose Luis, I'm sorry. Yes, uh, Jose Luis Reyes. Anything else to say? Señor Reyes, en el primer caso donde usted se declaró culpable, es, usted va a estar en 11 meses de libertad condicional. Es importante que no tenga contacto con Miriam González, Y los otros tres casos que usted tiene, se van a retirar los cargos. Ok, eso no. Muy bien. Este, porque yo voy, a salir, yo voy a salir. Si no tienes nada más pendiente que te detenga, sí. Debes de salir más tarde. Más tarde, ok, muy bien. Ok. Right. Tienes sí. que reportarte con, con la Oficina de Libertad Condicional. Ok. ¿Cuándo, ¿cuándo me tengo que deportar? ¿Qué, qué tanto? Sometime next week, we'll call Tu him. abogada se va a comunicar contigo y te va a dar la cita cuando te tienes que este, uh, presentar ahí en, en, en el departamento. Vanessa Mendoza. Yes. Ok, sí. Ok. All right. Okay. Thank okay. you, sir. Maybe Gracias. excuse. Gracias. Te puedo retirar. Dios lo bendiga. Dios lo bendiga. Thank you, sir. Gracias. Thank you. Who's next? Heriberto Rocha. How about Heriberto Rocha? Rocha. And Ms. Ben Ms. Mendoza is yours, right, ma'am? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. You swear the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, sir. You may put your hand down. Uh, where is he? Number 17. Okay, we got this one and number 17. And number 18. Are there three cases? Let me see here. Yes, Your Honor. 14, 17, and 18 on your criminal docket. 14, 17, 18. And he's going to plead to all three of them? Um, it's going to be a dismissal on one and a uh, probation on, on two, Your Honor. Which is a dismissal? Number 18, Your Honor. Number 18 will be a dismissal. Okay. 
All right, I got it. Okay, it'll be a plea on number 14 and number 17, right? Yes, sir. All right, here we go. Uh, CR 20 d Roberto Martinez Rocha, your charge here is a Class B misdemeanor. And then CR 20 d Roberto Rocha, your charge here is a Class A misdemeanor. On the Class B, the potential penalty can be up to 180 days in jail and not more than a $2,000 fine upon conviction. On the Class A, the penalty can be up to a year in jail and not more than a $4,000 fine upon conviction. You understand that, sir? Yes, sir. You understand that for each case, you're entitled to a jury trial. You're entitled to an appeal. Did you waive those two rights? Yes, sir. Have you ever been declared mentally incompetent? No, sir. You understand that the court does not have to follow the recommendations after you give your plea? Yes, sir. And what is your plea, sir? Guilty or not guilty? Guilty. And are you pleading guilty freely and voluntarily in both cases? Freely and voluntarily on both cases? Yes, sir. All right, state's evidence. State offers plea documents, offense reports, state exhibit one, notification, certification, defendant's right of appeal is state exhibit two. Waiver of Article 39.14 Disclosure is State Exhibit 3. Waiver of Risk and Needs Assessment is State Exhibit 4. State also requests Fence Council stipulate to the venue and jurisdiction of this honorable court, as well as that all documents and evidence have been e-filed are sufficient to support a plea of guilty. Without objections, Your Honor, so stipulated. And without objections, so admitted. It will be the judgment of the court. The defendant is guilty as charged on both cost numbers. Now, recommendations. Are there going to be probation, uh, State? They're, they're both probation recommendations, Your Honor. All right, let's go with the first one here, CR 20-05-283-D. That recommendation, Your Honor, is $300 fine, court costs, 180 days, Hidalgo County Jail, probated for 10 months, and anger management course. Your Honor, we're requesting consideration on the court costs and fines as Mr. Rocha has been incarcerated for 18 days. Okay. Uh, uh, Okay, let me hear the second. I wanted the DWI recommendation first. I don't know if that, was that it? I don't think it was, right? No, Your Honor, the, the DWI recommendation is $300 fine, court cost, 180 days at Algo County Jail, probated for 10 months, interlock ignition device, alcohol class, repeat offender program, 72 continuous hours at Algo County Jail, 180 days Texas driver's license suspension. All right, now I got it. All right, because of the uh, time in jail, uh, we'll weigh the fine and court costs on this one. And so he'll be placed on probation and uh, and he'll be, uh, all items announced here by the state will be part of the probation here in his judgment. Uh, to run concurrent with the other case, which is that one, the uh, 14, yes, sir. The recommendation, Your Honor, is $300 fine, court costs, 180 days, Hidalgo County Jail, probated for 10 months in anger management course. All right, also weigh the fine and court costs. They're going to run concurrent, and there'll be only one uh, uh, supervision fee. So they're going to run concurrent. Is that the understanding, Mendoza? Yes, Your Honor. All right, you may be excused, Mr. Uh, Rocha. That'll do it. Thank you, sir. Your Honor, as part of that, there was going to be a dismissal. I'm not sure. Just yes, Your Honor, I, I believe it was e-filed earlier, Your Honor, but that the state is moving to dismiss CR 200-5284-D. Uh, if it wasn't e-filed, I'll do, do so shortly, Your Honor. Number uh, let me see here. Number 18, Your Honor. Yeah, number 18. Your Honor. Yes, sir. The female officers are entirely coordinated with the female defendants. They said that they would log into your court as soon as they were done. Okay. So, okay. Uh, okay. All right. Thank you. Yes, sir. No, we can do. Okay. Let me. Let me okay. We're going to dismiss. Yeah. Okay. Okay. On the uh, on uh, Eriberto Rocha, court will hereby dismiss CR twenty zero five twenty four D, and that is a dismissal. Thank you, Your right. Honor. Please be excused. You may be excused. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Who's next now, Abiel Flores. Mr. Abiel Flores. Let me see if I can find, what number are you now? Number 16. I believe number 16, I heard. Uh, and we have Rachel Jordan, she's on the view. Right. Miguel Marroquin. Abiel Miguel. Flores for the defendant. We're present and ready for a plea, Your Honor. All right, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Judge. And Rachel Jordan here for the state. All right. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Uh, 
We have uh, CR 205265D, <coughs> Miguel Marroquin. Good afternoon, sir. You, uh, please raise your hand. You swear the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, sir. You may put your hand out. And once again, CR 205265D, your charge here is a Class B misdemeanor. It carries a potential penalty of up to 180 days in jail and not more than a $2,000 fine upon conviction. You understand that? Yes, sir. You understand that you're, enti you're entitled to a jury trial uh, and, you're also, and you're also entitled to an appeal. Did you waive those two rights? Yes, sir. Have you ever been declared mentally incompetent? No, sir. You understand that the court does not have to follow the recommendation? Yes, sir. And what is your plea, sir? Guilty or not guilty? Guilty. And are you pleading guilty freely and voluntarily? Yes, sir. All right, state's evidence? Uh, the state would like to offer the plea documents and the offense report, which have been filed. State's exhibit number one is going to be the waiver of the needs assessments and jury trial. State's exhibit number two is a notification and certification for right of appeal. And state's exhibit number three is a waiver of article 39.14. Um, the state would also like the defense counsel to stipulate if anyone all the documents that are e-filed to support this plea of guilty. Your Honor, we have no objections. We so agree and stipulate. And without objection, so admit it. It will be the judgment of the court that defendant is guilty as charged in our recommendation state. Uh, 65 days in the Hidalgo County Jail and court costs. All right, 65 days. Six, I'm sorry. Bye. 65 days in, in jail and then credit for 65? Yes, Your Honor. It's a time served situation. Uh, okay. Then court will further uh, weigh the fine and court costs. Therefore, it'll be a time served. All right, that'll do it. You may be excused. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, Thank you, Your Honor. You may be excused. Thank you. We're done with the mail. Yeah, we need uh, we need to go back to Miss Jessica De Luna's case, and that'll be Alejandra Alvarado. And I think the, there's somewhere over. Right? Yeah. All right, there. Okay, here we go. All right. Thank you, Jailer. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, Thank sir. You. Thank you. Now we have, uh, is it Alejandra Alvarado? Yes, Your Honor, Jessica De Luna for Ms. Ale uh, Alvarado. All right, good afternoon, ma'am. All right, we have CR 20 05218D, Alejandra Alvarado. Please raise your right hand. You swear the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, sir. You may put your hand down. Your charge here is a class A misdemeanor. It carries a potential penalty of up to a year in jail and not more than a $4,000 fine upon conviction. You understand that? Yes, sir. You understand that you're entitled to a jury trial. You're entitled to an appeal. Did you waive those two rights? Yes, sir. Have you ever been declared mentally incompetent? No, sir. You understand that the court does not have to follow the recommendation after you give your plea? Yes, sir. All right, and how do you plea, ma'am? Guilty or not guilty? Guilty. And are you pleading guilty freely and voluntarily? Freely. All right. State's evidence? State offers plea documents and offense reports. State Exhibit 1, notification, certification, defendant's right of appeal. State Exhibit 2, waiver of Article 39.14, disclosure. State Exhibit 3, waiver of risk and needs assessment. State Exhibit 4, state also requests defense counsel stipulate to the venue and jurisdiction of the honorable court, as well as all documents and evidence that have been e-filed are sufficient to support a plea of guilty. Your Honor, no objection and so stipulated. And without objection, so admit it. It will be the judgment of the court. The defendant is guilty as charged. And a recommendation state? $500 fine, court costs, 180 days, Hidalgo County Jail, probated for nine months, 90 days, Texas driver's license suspension, alcohol class, interlock ignition device. And Your right. Honor, if I may, um, Ms. Alvarado has been in jail for over two weeks. I believe it's two weeks and three days, um, if I'm not mistaken. So we'd ask for some consideration on the court costs and fees. Um, also, she doesn't have a vehicle, so it would have to be a mobile device, Your Honor. All right, we'll go ahead and substitute the interlock for the mobile device. And because of the, the 19 days or so of jail time, it'll be zero fine, zero court costs. Thank you, Your Honor. And uh, everything else in the judgment is going to be what the, what the state just read on the record. All right, that'll be it. You may be excused. Thank you, ma'am. Thank, you, Thank you, Your Honor. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. You all stay safe. Thank you. Thank you. Who else do we have? That's it. That's it for right now. We stand in recess till, uh, I believe, four o'clock. Thank you, Josh. All right. Thank you.